Hello everyone, we are Ghet and Niluka. Welcome to our channel. In March 2022, we embarked on a new adventure by purchasing a semi off grid farm in central Portugal. We are now in the process of transforming this land into a beautiful homestead where we can live a more sustainable and healthier life. Join us on our journey as we leave behind our old ways and learn how to live off the land. We are excited to have you along for the ride. So sit back, relax and enjoy today's video. Hey guys, uh, I'm going to renovate the pool this week or the upcoming weeks. I'm not going to be that fast with this I think. Um, as you can see in the corner there's a big crack. Okay, and the bottom is a big crack. I'm going to remove all the paint. I'm going to make a new in and out line for, uh, for our pumps. A big circulation pump. It will pump about 28,000 liters. Uh, the water from the well. Uh, I made a pipe. It comes out there now. Just to keep this dry. Uh, there will be a bench here. In the corner there will be a bench, yeah, and uh, I will fill up the corners, fill up the concrete. I will put in, I will put in a new floor, a concrete floor of five centimeters, and I will re-render the walls. Uh, because I can re-render -re the walls, I have to remove the paint. It's not handy to have the paint on it; it will stick less good. So it's a bit of a job, but. Uh, I want it down right this time. That's a heavy job. Uh, it's good that I wear a face mark because uh, it's very fine dust. I got one wall ready. It's a small wall. It's perfect for a new render. Another day. Uh, for today I will try to do the long walls. I hope I can do both sides and the floor, but that might be a little bit too much. So let's see where we get. Uh, I get tomorrow I'll get the sand and cement. So yeah. Just let's see where we go. No hurry. If you take a day or two longer, that's fine. <laughs> I'm not very easy with that. If I start with something, I want to finish it. If you speak a little weird, I have my uh, my earplugs in. It's from Ear Safety from the Netherlands. It's a really good company. It's from Aaron, a good friend of mine. If you need specialized earplugs, then uh, you have to go to earsafety.nl. <laughs>
Uh, I think my angle grinder is done. <laughs> Hello guys, it's hot, <laughs> uh, I'm doing the concrete floor in the sun, <laughs> let me show you. too happy about this I'm not sure why I don't like it it's it's a bit too rough for my liking so I will let this dry I want to see if you look from distance it, it looks pretty good but uh, from up close it's uh, it's pretty rough but let's see uh, how it uh, 
how it ends up in the end. Uh, Oh my god guys, everything is filling up already uh, because I uh, I had to get that part dry so I made a line here <laughs> but now I already have a pond <laughs> so I'm gonna I'm gonna make the shape of the pond today uh, so I know what to dig uh, one other thing I have to do today is uh, look I have tomato plants here we're gonna put uh, some roof tiles around it so, so it will get a nice edge. I think we're going to do it all the way on the side. So then look, I can put plants there. Um, yeah, I think that's enough for one day. <laughs> it's still pretty hot, so I can't go all nuts here. <laughs> but yeah, you see, we don't even need pond liner. For now, that is. In the future, we will do almost the same as Nick. Uh, we're going to make the shape of the pond. For this year, we just put in water so uh, the clay in the sand will uh, be hard. And I'm probably, I think in the next year, we will remove the water. Uh, we make on the outside uh, with blocks, I think, uh, an area for the plants. And then the inside, uh, we, will, uh, we will put in a mesh and put some concrete over it. So how we have hmm, a shape, a bit the same like the pool, but then in the in the shape of a pond. Some things I have to think about with the pool. Uh, the water in the pool will have chloride in the future. So I want the exit of the pool to have a pipe that goes all the way to the land. On the land, I will make a hay and charcoal filter where all the we do. Uh, where all the water goes if we empty the pool, so the chloride gets uh, removed from the water. Uh, there will be a splitting point here with one line that goes here. It will be uh, it will be the intake for the water pump. The water pump will come here, and there will be an outline, and it goes also back to here, and it connects to this pipe, and it will blast the water at the end. I have a, a extreme good pump. I use it in the Netherlands for my koi ponds. It can pump 28,000 liters an hour. So it's extremely powerful. So I wonder how that's gonna look. <laughs> that will be very nice. But yeah, we are not done with the pool yet. Uh, you see that there's only one layer in yet. Uh, the seating area will be three stones high. And the stairs there has to be, has to go up to. Uh, I'm not gonna do it with uh, with hot weather, so I'm probably gonna do it or in the evening or in the morning. I first need to make another layer, I have to fill it up again, I have to pour concrete in, and let it dry, and then eventually I have to do the last layer, let it die. If that's all ready, <laughs> I will render the last wall with concrete and the seating and the stairs. And if that's all ready, I'm gonna render it with fine render, so it becomes very nice and clean. But uh, yeah, that's a bit of work still. Um, yeah, it's not a job for today, it's too hot for that. It's even too hot to dig, but I'm in the shade a little bit, so if I take it easy, I should be okay. Um, yeah. In the Netherlands, I did a lot of ponds. I had an outside pond, for, uh, it was 28 meters long, 8 meters wide. 250 deep. That was a very big one. I did it with liner. Then uh, I had a, a huge koi disease. I lost a lot of koi. I think I still have all the building videos of that. So I think you guys might like that to see that. I had some very nice koi in that. Um, I had an offer on one of the three steps koi of 1600 euros, but I didn't sell it. <laughs> I should have, but, but yeah, I did know that I. Uh, that I was leaving the Netherlands in that time, and it was uh, it was my nicest koi I had. Um, 
yeah we're gonna make a shape <laughs> we start with the shape i will put you guys some time lapse if i'm working uh, because else uh, my sd card and my battery will drain extremely fast I'm working on the pool again, uh, I'm doing the second layer of the benches and I'm making the staircase, let me show you. You see this is an inside of pool, it has the bench height, the water pipes are in the bench, this will be the stairs, it will be too higher, it will come to here almost. Uh, here in the corner will be uh, another small wall to hide this one. Uh, you look as a small girl, so we make one extra layer in the corner on the four blocks. So one side of the bench is higher than the other side of the bench. Uh, in that corner it was weak, I think I will put a stone in front of it like this. I fill it up with concrete all the way up. Then, uh, if that's all done, I <laughs> I kind of fill up the benches uh, with concrete and put stones in. And if that's all done, and the, and the first concrete render is also on that wall and the benches, then I will let it dry for a few days. And then we will do the final render. And then uh, we can have a try if it works. But then only the inside of the pool is done. On the outside I have a lot more work to do. But we only want the pool ready for now. So at least we can jump in the pool when we want to.
very hot today. <laughs> Phew. Uh, I'm working on the pool again. Let me show you. I'm filling the concrete in the bench and in the stairs. And I, uh, I made a small change in the design, so I have to, uh, have to make something higher. I will show you. As you can see, the bench is filled with concrete now. Uh, I wish from Nilukas to make it halfway a stone higher for small people. Uh, then here will be an extra stair thing, and here will be an extra, and here will be an extra, so it's easier to walk in. Oh yeah. I'm out of sand, so I'm going to collect some new sand now and make the last concrete. And then if the concrete's in, I will, uh, I will put the last stones on. And then, uh, then it's almost ready to render. I only have to fill, uh, I have to fill the holes with concrete. And here in the corner, here will be, uh, will be stone and goes all the way up. Uh, here in the corner, the same, and there in the corner also the same. Right, well, the stonework almost done. Then uh, within a few days we can start uh, the first concrete rendering on it. And then we let it dry for a few days and then we're going to put the final touch on it. Because as you can see this is very rough. Well, that doesn't matter, uh, there will be a final coat. Almost pool time, guys. <laughs> I've been using my shovel yesterday. I didn't make a video about it, but I will today. So I will show you what I did yesterday. I had a few hours left in the day because I was working on the computer. Uh, but let me show you. Oli, come on. <laughs> so this is only the first shovel layer. Uh, my first, uh, my first goal is to make it a little bit. How do you call it? Level. Because else your water will be uh, will be off. Thank you, Indy. So, uh, I still have to finish the dash part for the first layer. And if I have the first layer done, uh, I will go one shuffle inside each time. So the next, the next layer will start there. And then if I have that empty, empty the next layer will start there. And then we dig to the depth, I think 152 meters. So, it will be here somewhere, it will be very deep, uh, then here it won't be deep at all, here it will be a little bit deeper, and here will be the deepest. But uh, first you have to uh, check how, uh, how the level is, I think I will make I will make a few wooden poles, so I, so I can eyeball it a little bit. I normally have a pretty good feeling about it, but it's on a slope, that, that's for sure. But how much is the slope from there till there? If I would have to guess, 
it's about 20 centimeters so my uh, my ground on that side has to be higher has to be higher so all the sand here will go there <laughs> and this we're gonna fill with sand uh, what comes out the deep on that side we fill it also with sand all the sand that comes out here it will come on a pal uh, because here I still have to do some work later on uh, for example uh, here will come a pipe for the water uh, this will be a small dog bath it will be a stone higher I think uh, the dais will also be filled with sand then eventually and then if we are done here with the piping and the extra wall in front of it I'm not sure if I'm gonna do extra wall or just gonna render it I have to see but uh, yeah it has to be filled with concrete there are some holes in it so we have to do something with it but then uh, if I'm done with making the shape of the pool we have to clean up get all the trash out of here then I have to do one more concrete layer in the pool on everything that you see is red and on the bench because uh, it rained off the concrete a little bit so we have to fix that then we will let it dry for uh, a week or so and then we will put the final render on the on the pool yeah we are getting somewhere it will be nice if you're in the pool and you're looking at the pond If I like to mess up my uh, plan. <laughs> uh, let me see where my... Where's my camera stick thingy? Ali! Ali! <laughs> Ali! Eva! Hi sweetie. Hi sweetie. <laughs> Ali! I forgot something guys so I can walk all the way back. Oh, the dogs have, have been pooping. first rush of water is, uh, is done uh, because this pipe was about a meter higher on that side uh, the well at the house I don't know if you ever saw that it had about a meter water ab above this pipe so when I put the pipe down it emptied a meter of the well in in the pond and now it's uh, <laughs> at its normal flow uh, this water is mountain water it flows almost always well, I don't think when it's uh, if it's 44 degrees, I'm not sure if it still will run then. But uh, yeah, uh, here's coming a lot of water. Uh, here we have another pipe. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, that pipe is from the rainwater. If it's raining really, really hard, uh, the rainwater will go into the pond too. Um, I want to catch all the rainwater from the house 
I want everything to the pond because if the pond overflows, that pipe at the end, if the water goes in there, it goes to the second well, and that is uh, that's the well uh, we use the most. So I want to have as much water as possible to that well. So uh, in the future I will look if I can make uh, a water gully here and there and connect it to the same pipes under the ground. So all the rainwater will go here. Because now a lot of the rainwater it goes to my neighbor. Now that's not needed. If my neighbor wants water, he can get him. He gets his own rainwater. So, uh, yeah, I'm uh, I'm leveling the sand a little bit. If I look at the water level, uh, then if I would guess, I think if I would get a stick or something, or maybe my shovel. If you look at this pipe, if it would go to the end of this pipe, then the water level will be... That's a bit hard to do. <coughs> About this much higher. So if you go to the other side... Because uh, water is altijd water pass, we call it in the Netherlands. Then the water would go to about there, above the pipe. So that's uh, that's actually nice. That means uh, that I did a uh, very good digging. I did it on my cut feeling, so uh, it will. Uh, it will be very nice actually. Because then I know I can level the sand a little bit above that. And on that on that side I can lower it a bit. So uh, uh then I might have enough sand to uh to make this nice and level. And for now I'm just uh, eyeballing it. Something I learned in the past. Uh, your feet know extremely well when you walk level or not. It's, uh, I had a guy who was laughing at me. But uh, it's actually true. If you, if you go stand on the slope of a hill, you will feel it in your feet. And if you stand level, you will feel the difference. So if you walk on the floor and you take steps, then you know if it goes down or not. It's not perfect, but it's uh, it's very close. So if you go with your feet, it gets pretty nice level. But yeah, I don't know if everyone can do that. <laughs> but yeah, uh, the sun is a bit warm, so I'm uh, I'm going slow, and I digged already a lot. But. Uh, yeah, I have uh, enough sand here, I think. I have to move a little to that corner. But uh, yeah, we will see how that goes. And else uh, I have to do a few wheelbarrows. So I'm done for today. My legs hurt, my arms hurt. I've totally flattened out uh, all the sand. Looks pretty good to me. I think we need a little bit more sand at the end. And I have to remove uh, all the concrete here. It will make it better. This will be an awesome pond. Let's see what Niluka thinks about it. <laughs> nah, duh. <laughs> My god. The water sucked well, huh? Yeah, I do that. I'm going to do it. 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 I'm
die film had gezegd. Uh, daar raakt het enigszins verzadigd doordat die varkens die grond uh, steeds mm-hmm. bij de stamp plat stampen. Hi hey guys, uh, I didn't show you all the render works. That wedding is complete. Uh, I wanted to paint today, but uh, in some places it looks a little bit wet still, so I will wait. So for today, I will uh, I will install the pipes and get the power cable here. And complete uh, the piping with the pump and the filter. I have to close this with sand still. Uh, the lower water tank I still have to do on the inside there with concrete. It's not watertight. And then the outside I still have to render. So I think I will do that today. It's, uh, it's getting very hot in the end of the week. so. I would do as much as possible. Uh, the dogs uh, are loving uh, the pond. <laughs> if they are hot, they go in the water. <laughs> if I wish that, what do they? What do they, Ali? Ali, come here. Ali, come here. Has in the water. Come down. Oh, lekker, lekker, lekker. <laughs> nee. Oh, lekker. Oh, lekker, lekker. Pak hem in niet. Pak hem. Ali, come on, come on. Good job. <laughs> Ali. And the lekker, yeah. Have a lekker afkoelen. Nice and cool. Yeah, they're loving it. <laughs> they are more here at the pond than they are uh, in front of the house. <laughs> Eva. Eva, pack him. Pack him. Pack him, Eva. Eva. <laughs> oh, like a wagon. No, the dogs are having fun, guys. <laughs> I wouldn't do that, Oli. That's very deep. Oh, very deep. It's not extremely deep. Uh, it's connected on the inline the pump. There's a sand filter in between the outlet. I shall have to run it this outside. I uh, fix this pipe. So we have good water flow here. So then I uh, I can rebuild the stones. And then, uh, I wanted to paint today, but uh, it's not dry enough. So I will let it uh, will let it dry one more day or maybe two days. Then we will paint it. So I hope we can do a water test this Wednesday or Thursday. 
and then we can finish all the other stuff. I already put the power line there for a light in the power socket and a light in the power socket. And here at each tree will be a lamp, a light. The pond uh, is filling itself. So uh, I have to find me some water plants. <laughs> it's hot today, but I want to paint the pool. Uh, because the upcoming days and weeks will be very hot. Uh, for next week uh, they say it's going to be around 40. And the week after they probably say above 40. So I think you can say uh, the summer has begun. Or the heat has begun. <laughs> but um, I want to be able to swim. So uh, we're going to paint it today. Uh, the color is... A sure blue, it's not, uh, it's not as blue as the last one we had. No, it's a bit nicer, I think. It looks nice. It's a nice color. So, uh, I'm gonna start in this corner and I put you guys some time lapse. Uh, guys, I wanted to explain something. I guess we don't have to explain things, but um, uh, we don't have. Uh, a lot of video material right now because uh, Niluka is changing jobs and we stop in the company. Turn you around. It's better to see me. Um, yeah, uh, it's just very busy with stuff we can't put on video. So uh, yeah, have a bit of patience. <laughs> we won't go anywhere. Our channel won't go away. We will stay. I have uh, a few nice videos coming, but uh, it will take a more time. It will take a little bit more time. I just don't want to put out videos that are almost pointless to put online. I'm going to sweat some more and put on that paint. Pff, I'm already so hot, man. Uh, ciao, guys. <laughs> That's not the blue I expected, but it's pretty. <laughs> it's, uh, uh, how do you call it? Almost baby blue, I think. It's called Azure blue. So I guess it's, uh, it's an ocean type of blue. <laughs> Oh, it's not too bad. <laughs> Let's crack on with it. Uh, I'm gonna let it dry and I think I'm gonna do the floor on some parts again. I have a little bit left so I might as well put it on it. But it looks good. Welcome in Portugal guys. <laughs> it's gonna be 36 degrees today. Um, when I woke up this morning I put it on the water on the, on the swimming pool. And I just connected the power to the pumps. So I think we are going for a water test. A water pump test, that is. I shaved myself because it's so hot. Oh, that's going pretty fast. Let me show you. It's filling pretty quickly. quickly. There's a bit of color in it. A 
Okay, now I have control on my phone to put the uh, to switch on and off the power to here. So let me. I don't think you guys can see that, so I will do it. E-ray link. Oh, it's gonna blow. Oh, it's gonna turn on. It's gonna turn on. Uh, now I don't remember on which switch I did the pull. It's not one. It's not two. It's three. As you can see, the pump goes on. Oh, it's leaking. I see it. But it's leaking, so I have to. Uh, I already thought that I have to put uh, the white stuff around it. But, but for now, it's okay. I will fix that later. I think the pump switch off again. Is it on or off? Uh, I don't know why it goes slow now. Uh, maybe it's sand. There is, uh, there is some sand in the line. So maybe it slows down a little better. Let me see. It's running at uh, at full speed now. <laughs> Nuka wants to already have a dive. <laughs> There's still a lot of sand in the system, but I got uh, most of it out now, I think. It only has to clean the water again. Uh, because in the pipes uh, there was a lot of sand, and that's now in the pool. But this is the flow we have. I work hard for 15 minutes and then I cool down for 5 minutes. Perfect. Hello guys. We want to take the time to thank you for watching our video this week. We really appreciate your love and support you're giving us on the channel. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe and like button. And click the notification bell if you want to stay up to date with our latest videos. And for exclusive sneak previews, join our Facebook community. If you'd like to get in touch with us, send us an email. And we promise we will reply. Always. Always. Feel free to leave a comment guys, we really like it. We're already looking forward to catch up with you next Saturday at 6 p.m. Outfoutje uploaded every Saturday. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye. bye. Ciao, ciao. <laughs>